Greetings YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with an open tag discussion. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because I've been doing a little reorganizing. I've been doing it for the last few days. Uh, for example, I've moved the Atari 8-bit carts here. Now the Atari 8-bit carts were down here, but I wanted to put the Coco carts here. So the Coco carts are here now because I didn't really like this little thing that Pooh Bear is guarding. Uh, and as, if you watched my last video last weekend, I put in some shelves. I'll probably put in one more. Um, but, this is a small room. My office slash game room is the third bedroom in the house. And it's not big, as you can see. So I, and that's why I'm doing this tag. is because it got me thinking, do you ever reach a point of critical mass? Where you say, wow, that's, uh that's enough. Now, let me preface this by saying that I have not reached this point. <laughs> no. Um, however, I am slowing down. For example, my Atari collection is pretty much where I want it. Same with Turbo Graphics, Coco, NES, pretty much all the systems that I rabidly collect for. That's not to say if I find a good deal, see a cart that I don't have here or there, I'll probably, I will pick it up. Um, so the first question in this tag is, kind of in the past, have you ever had a big collection before? Were you ever a big collector in the past and then somewhere down the line sold it all only to start up again? And the reason I ask that is because that's happened to me three times. This is my third collection and both of my other collections were much bigger than this. I started up in the early 90s, had a massive collection because everybody was getting rid of their Atari games. I'd have people selling them to me for pennies on the dollar. Garbage bags full of games. You couldn't believe the size of this collection, it was huge. But I got rid of it all in 95, uh, started up again in the late 90s, got rid of that collection in 2005, started up again in the summer of 2008, so just shy of two years ago. And that's what you see here. Now your question might be is, well, you had all these massive collections before. Why in the world would you get rid of them? Well, that leads me to the second question in this open tag discussion. Do you ever see yourself getting rid of your current collection? Now, you might say, no, no way, never. But things change. And that was the reason why in my past I'd gotten rid of the collections. For example, Family situations change. You might be single right now. You might get married. You might have kids. Your priorities change. I've seen that happen. That's kind of why I got rid of my collection too when I first got married. Moved to a smaller place, didn't have the room, right? Uh, financial situations change. People lose their jobs. Uh, they have a big bill that comes in all of a sudden and they have to sell their collection. I've seen that. I've, I'm a regular on Atari age. I see that all the time. Anybody else who watches my videos who's also a regular on Atari age, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen those threads where it's for sale, must get rid of everything. Need the money. Right? Lifestyle changes. You know, you just lose interest in gaming. So that's the second question. Do you ever see yourself getting rid of it? Um, Running out of room could be a reason, again. <laughs> uh, I know there's, again, there's a person on Atari Age who actually was asking people what they thought of him renting out a house. Renting a house! Because his collection was getting so huge. Personally, I think that's, that's where you're bordering on a little bit insane. Where you're going to spend money monthly on an, on an entire other house to store your collection. And this guy's a hoarder. He's a little bit out there. Nice guy, everybody likes him. He gives great deals apparently, but he's, by his own admission, a little bit insane when it comes to collecting. So, yeah, I would draw the line where if you're running out of room and you decide you're going to rent a house just for your game collection, that's going a little bit overboard. And the third question that kind of goes into this is the reason why we collect. Now, do you enjoy having a collection? Or is it the thrill of the hunt? Do you enjoy collecting more than having a collection? And this is where you have to be honest with yourself. I like both. 
Uh, I love the thrill of the hunt, but I also having a nice collection. I nice uh, when I'm able to sit down, pick out a game on a system, and play a game that I haven't maybe played in years. And that's the great thing about collecting these old games is you can collect games fairly cheaply that you've never played before. So I like both. But let's be honest, do you like collecting more or do you like having a collection more? Because collecting is fun. That find at the yard sale or at the flea market or at the thrift store and you go and you post it on YouTube, that's fantastic. That's why we all do it, right? It's bragging rights. Let's be honest, it's bragging rights. That's why we do it. We like to share our finds. That's why I do it. Come on, that's why we all do it. <laughs> so three questions on this open tag discussion. I'll put them in the description. I'm not tagging anybody, but I'd like to get your thoughts on it. All right, so uh, we can't wait to hear your comments. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day. Okay, quick addendum here. Um, the reason I asked that third question, and the third question was, do you see yourself more as enjoying collecting as opposed to having a collection? Uh, and the reason I ask this is because I've seen it firsthand from talking to other people, uh, reading it on different forums. People who enjoy collecting, who enjoy the thrill of the hunt more than actually having the collection, owning the games and enjoying them, those are the people that typically will end up selling it all down the road. Because once that thrill is gone and they've got everything, there's nothing left. What do I do now? And these are the people that say, usually post a question, hmm, should I get out, shouldn't I get out? I don't enjoy it anymore. Well, ask yourself, what is it you really enjoy? Did you enjoy having a collection? Or did you just enjoy the thrill of going to a yard sale and finding a great deal? So that's the reason why that I asked that third question. I just wanted to, to, to be people to be sure why I was asking that question because it didn't seem to be in line with the other two questions but there's a reason why I asked that third question okay thanks bye